In March of 2020, Vanna Morris, an alternative rock group from Detroit, Michigan, embarked on a tour across the United States. Little did they know that when they returned, life would never be the same. I'm Joe. I play guitar and sing. Uh, I'm Tommy, and I uh, play guitar. I'm Brendan, and I play bass and sing sometimes. I'm Ross, and I play guitar. <laughs> I'm Gavin, and I play the drums. <laughs> I say alternative rock because it's an alternative answer to rock and roll. And we don't really fall perfectly into a genre. I guess people say pop punk or emo, but I don't think we really are. I guess we're emotionally driven rock and roll. What what does an average tour look like for you guys? It looks like the inside of our van, Vanessa, dude. That's what you see most of the time. <laughs> yeah, uh, a lot of a lot of driving and trying not to spend money. <laughs> Playing shows is like fifteen. No, it's like ten percent of the experience. The rest of it is being a being a glorified homeless person. <laughs> That's essentially what you're doing. Uh, there's a picture of the four of them all sleeping in the back. That's a really good representation of what the whole tour looks like. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, when you have to drive six, seven hours or whatever in between all the shows, I mean, that's really all there is to do is one person drive and everybody else just pass the time however they want to do that I guess and it's like trying to be disciplined enough to not go blowing all your money so that you can afford to be out that long because I mean we're not really getting paid we get paid enough for gas to get place to place so like it's it's hard to hold that in when you're going all over the place and you want to go do stuff but yeah, like we were like camping one night and, you know, we were longboarding around playing catch and all that. Like, it's just stuff like that to keep us busy, you know, and not, not wanting to go to the bar as soon as you get to the city, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are your favorite types of venues to play? I love really shitty bars. <laughs> we played at this place in Wichita called uh, Kirby's. And it was maybe it was maybe twenty feet by twenty feet. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. maybe. including the behind the bar area. When we walked in, we were like, "Oh man, how is this ever gonna work?" <laughs> but it actually went really well, and it was just a really really good time. And the people that were there loved it. I mean, there wasn't a ton of people there, but it was so small it felt packed. And I mean, everybody bought merch and was like stoked to hear us play. So I mean, that was great. I think it really comes down to like the crowd that's there. I mean, obviously like having monitors and stuff like that is ideal, but I think the best times we have are like when everyone is there and like everybody's engaged and having a good time, even if right. they weren't there to see us to begin with. But on the flip side, same goes with house shows. You know, we played some that, you know, the sound is terrible. You couldn't even hear anything that was happening, yet it's the littest thing in the world, you know? Mm -hmm. Or you play yeah. some, it's empty. I don't know. It's <clears> like a hit or miss. But the main thing is like, you know, when you really connect with the audience, that's like the coolest part about the whole experience. That's probably why we all play music, really. So, I don't know. Yeah. Since you guys were on the road when this whole Corona fiasco started, what types of thoughts were going through your head when it all went down? <laughs> it was like day by day. It was like Tuesday hearing about it, Wednesday we were hearing a little more about you know schools closing down. Thursday it was just like all like shows. Yeah, by, stuff. You know, by Thursday the or no by Wednesday people wouldn't even like shake our hands at the show. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, dude, it was weird. It was, it was, like, all, so it was, all, it was all bows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I honestly, like, my main thought was like, wow, I've been singing in these microphones all over the country. I have it. Yeah. Right. 
So, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It was, it was kind of like, uh, it was kind of just like, we're gonna live. It's totally fine. Oh no, we're probably gonna die. Oh no, it's totally fine. Oh no, this looks pretty bad. Nah, it's fine. We're good. It's, it's fine. We might die. Nah, it's gone. We're good. It's fine. No, it's fine. Here, dude. Like, same as it ever was. <laughs> it was just, uh, it was just really weird leaving and everything was normal and then we came home and the whole world's in a panic. It was yeah. like, weird. it was, it's weird. Like, came home and like none of us had jobs anymore. And right. like everything yeah. had just like gone to shit. So. Like the morale too, like our last show got canceled, you know? <laughs> And that kind of yeah. like, kind of hurt the mood of the tour a little bit, but I mean, it was still super fun. It was just like a weird sinking feeling of like, okay, we're coming home to some some stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And now we can't play shows anywhere, and I yeah. don't think we're going to get to all year, unfortunately. Yeah, oh. I think house shows are going to be a thing as soon as this tapers off, because oh. even if the bars don't open, oh, the house show circuit is going to be house fucking show? lit that when this be, comes yeah. back. That's interesting thought. Didn't think yeah, about dude. that. If there's no concerts, if there's no national concerts, you gotta have your, you know, shut your house. That's way that's doable. You know? Yeah, I think the local scene is going to just absolutely boom when things start Hell coming back. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like bars are gonna be lit as fuck every night for like months on end. Oh, I have never wanted to go to the bar and get a beer so bad in my entire dude. life. You're telling me. <laughs> What would you say is your favorite part about being in a band? Crazy. <laughs> yeah, the drugs. Right, how, ma how many okay. is that? Honestly, it's all these <laughs> lame people that are on this chat. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty all right. You know? My favorite oh, yeah, part yeah, of being in a band? It's really fun playing music with everyone, honestly. <laughs> because, um, you know, like, there's a lot of amazing musicians. I love the people. And, like, you know, pass that amazing song right here. People. That's what's so exciting about it to me is just hearing all the different ideas. Hand motions, Jerry Seinfeld. Um, you <laughs> hey! know, just like all that stuff. It's just, uh, you know, it's really cool, man. It's really cool, uh, you know, getting, me and Gavin are in the same, or I graduated. He's um, in the same program I was in, though. So it's cool talking about tech and all that with him. Uh, he's an amazing drummer. Ross, you know, he's a Aww, great guitar awesome. player, great songwriter himself. Brendan is super great at a bunch of things, which is crazy. He's a great graphic designer. <laughs> By the way, in the background right now, <laughs> he's sure he made. Hey, um, nice. You know, and Joe, I mean, he's the mastermind behind all of it, which kind of uh, whips us into place. You know, he uh, he writes all the songs. He, he um, He's just such a creative guy. It's, it's really cool seeing these energies get together. And although our personal lives might disagree at times and stuff, you know, we all are able to sit down and make some cool music. And that's what's really important. You know? so. Hell yeah. Yeah. So, Girls really that matter. are in their mid 20s, as we are, they go, oh, you're in a band? <laughs> <laughs> you you honestly, mean you have no future? The people who talk to me after a show are mostly like, you know, dudes who are like, oh man, that was cool. Like, I liked your solos. What are your pedals? And they ask me about my like pedal work. You know what I'm saying? And then like, when you, know, you bend over yeah. to point at a pedal, they breathe down the back of your neck. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Do you guys have any closing remarks you'd like to add? Support music and support each other. Nothing can ever happen unless you are lifting one another up and actually where everybody wants to accomplish something. Um, our scene tends to have lots of negativity and wanting to drag people down that are showing some success. And I think the only way to succeed both as a unit and both as a scene is they're just, they're, you just have to spread love and you have to lift one, one another up and you have to have confidence. Um, I just wanted to re to reiterate that. Amen, yeah. brother. Amen. Yeah, ask your homies up, it's free. <laughs> exactly. You know, just like I know. I, I mean, we, we were we were on tour, and you know, like friends like to talk shit, and friends like to roasty roast one another a, a little bit. And we were just like joking, like, oh my god, instead of like roasting one one another, why don't we just like nonstop compliment <clears throat> each other? And we laughed at it, but we're like, we shouldn't be laughing at that. Like that's a joke. We should just be like doing that. <laughs> <laughs> But honestly, like the last thing I would say is, man, you know, you know, everyone's going through a really tough time. It's probably going to be a longer time with this. Uh, 
Yeah, I know us as the Venna Boys. The Venna Boys. We hope everyone's doing good. <laughs> and uh, we're excited to get back to it, man. We want to play some shows. We want to record an album. And we hope everyone's still there listening to music. You know, the big thing is we're all artists and we're all struggling. And uh, we have to, as Gavin said, support each other in all these hard times. And look, it's going to be a really bright future once this all ends. I really do believe that. So, cool. Yeah. That was it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stay healthy. Stay healthy. Oh. Yeah. Chaw, man, Chaw. Chaw. All right, let's play Call of Duty now. Call of Duty, all right. Yeah. Word.